Hi there, um, we're now going to take a look at some Kodi problem challenges. Uh, these are puzzles for you to solve that are on the, the mathworks.com website in the MATLAB central area. If you haven't looked at them before, go to mathworks.com, go to um, community, click on Kodi. And the set of questions we're going to look at are those in this 2016B feature challenge. These help you learn the new features that came out in 2016. Be. Now, I, um, I've done some of these already, uh, but I want, there's one I want to redo because I was told I didn't use the right features that I was meant to when I tried to do it. Some of these, most of these problems you can solve by, um, by multiple, um, multiple ways. So um, let's take a look at the, um, Let's take a look at uh, the feature, the challenges that are available. Um, once again, you get to them by going from um, mathworks.com, going to the community, clicking on uh, Kodi, and um, <clears throat> clicking on the 2016B uh, feature challenge. Um, so if I do them in these, this order, I'll just, uh, let's see, this one here. This is the very first one I tried, but. Um, I used regular expressions to solve this one, but there is a nice new feature in MATLAB which is, makes it a little bit easier. So what this puzzle um, uh, is, or this problem is, is that you're given a, a string, it's actually a, it's a XML string with a bunch of tags, and you're trying to extract uh, a substring from it. And these are actually um, goal events from a, a, a database, a soccer database. Um, and you need to extract the number that's in between the two tags. You've got one tag called elapsed, the ending tag and a beginning and ending tag of elapsed, and then um, that number you need to extract. Okay. So as I said before, I, I often use regular expressions to to get these, but um, I recommend that you. There's usually a link on each one of these challenges to um, documentation in MATLAB that are, has a features that you might want to make use of to solve the problem. And here are, this is a summary of the character and stringery um, features in MATLAB. And after 16b, there's a, there's a lot more of, of these. So if we want to extract um, something out of something else, um, we could take a look at some of these things to see, some of these features to see if there's one that suits. So you've got contains. Um, so for example, I, I tend to always use regular expressions to find things, but they can be pretty cryptic when you're writing regular expression uh, strings. Uh, so let's look at what else is available. You've got um, find and replace, starts with, ends with. Um, so we don't need to replace anything. We just need to find the number 22 and take it out. Join and split, we don't want to do that. Edit, erase, Extract. Okay, so extract between. That looks like something that we need. So extract between, you give it a string um, to look into a start point and an end point, and it takes what's in, what's between that. So that looks exactly what we want. So um, you can use these features from 16b on. I happen to be using um, 17a here, but uh, the same, it will work in 16b. Um, so with Kodi, um, usually some, there's some example data generation. In this case here, here's a command that, that um, generates a string for you. But then later on down here, you actually enter your code for it to be tested. So let's start with this. So we have our, um, so this is just a regular character array. It's actually not a string array, which is a new data type which came in in 16b. Uh, um, so just a regular character array, and you can use most of the, uh, I believe most of the functions, the new string array processing functions also work on um, character arrays and cell arrays of, uh, of strings. So let's try and use the extract um, between function, extract between, and then we go GED is the um, string you want to look into. Starting um, the starting string you want to um, look for is elapsed. Uh, oh, elapsed. And the ending um, 
string is going to be the closing of that tag. Like that. Ah, here we go. Um, and that returned, so that returned a salary. Um, I guess this is so that you, because it, there may be multiple, multiple things it can find, is my guess, maybe. Um, so it doesn't return a, a string. So in a cell, with it being a salary, you have to get, in order to extract that 22, you have to get inside the salary. So I'm gonna do that by assigning to a, a variable next. So I've got a variable called find, it's a salary. And if you know from salaries, you have to use squiggly brackets to get inside it to get the contents. So the salary as a container, squiggly brackets lets you take the contents out. In this case, let's look and see what's in there. And that is answer equals 22. 22 is a character array, just like that. Um, so we've now got a character array back out. And that's what we're looking for. But let's just confirm what it is we they really need. So. Um, Find the goals, job to pick out like saying return the numbers for each goal as a column vector of um, double precision numbers. So I think actually, although we're only given just one example here uh, to extract, um, the um, the test might be uh, it might be a longer string that you need to um, extract these from. And that's why I should turn it a salary. Um, so it says it should return the number 22. So, so this is not gonna give us the right answer. This is a character array 22. What we really want is, um, now there's a few functions to do this, but um, stir to double, um, I think it's what we want. It's a recommended function, stir to double, answer 22, and you'll see that is a, a, double, um, a double value. So, um, <clears throat> so that looks like what we want. We just need to, um, these those two commands should do it. Um, so let's just try and submit this and see if it works. I'll go to solve. And here I'm going to paste in the um, code that I had before. So we have, let's take that. <laughs> Found, uh, creates my my salary variable and then I need to assign the um, output function and I'm going to do stir to double and then index into the found with the squiggly brackets there's only oh sorry this is well let's let's try this because I think this won't work actually because um let's try this but I bet you it's going to fail um, because I think it has to handle arrays. Um, so let's try this. Mm. It didn't work. So it actually tells you, which is good with the code, you get, there's a test suite of results and you'll see that it worked for this first test because it's a single array that's being sent in. But, um, what it failed on with was with this um, longer string, or sorry, not a single array, but single, so a single string, but there was only one occurrence of the elapsed time. Here, there's multiple occurrences. So it's expecting um, a column result to come back. So that failed, so that worked, that failed. So I didn't really, I, I only tested it with my single character array. I didn't, I forgot that it needs to handle uh, a single character array, but with multiple instances of the of the number inside it. So let's play around with to see what that would be like. So um, so we have this um, GED, so um, GED. Um, how about we just make it twice as long by going GED um, GED. Uh, will I put a space? No, I won't like that. So we've now got it twice as long like that. Um, no. And then, so there's a number 22 there. And let's make this one different, make it 25. Because so when we do found now, we've now got a salary of two element salary. And so we can't use, so found, um, you know, found that is not gonna work. 
we need to take um, we need to extract um, uh, each number from the salary. Um, so there is a few. There are a few ways. So there actually so the character arrays. These are actually inside. Remember, each one of these is a is a, a string inside a salary, and we need to turn them into numbers. So there's probably a function like there are there are cell to mat functions that are that usually can handle this. I guess we could try it. Um, um, other cell to Let's see what cell to mat does. Cell to mat. I often find where well, each one of these I forget which one of these does. So this is now well, this is now a character array. I don't know if this is what we want. If I don't, if I can't use this, I'll just use cell fun, which I find is a fallback for most of these uh, types of um, problems. One of those like a char to something function. Uh, or what would happen if I if I give it start to double here? No, it's not gonna like that. If I just do stir to double of, um, if I just do stir to double of found. What does that do? If I give stir to double a salary. Oh, that works. Well, that's fine. That's all I need to do differently. Is I just need to um, just do stir to double to so try again. <clears throat> I don't need to. So this, on its own, should bring out the elapsed number. Let's try that. Aha, it worked, good. The score for that particular problem was 20, the best was 14, but I'm happy with that. That's pretty, that's fine for me. It lets me um, get the answer right, and I also learned how to use um, extract between. Now, um, if you do this with regular expressions, um, it can be more cryptic. You know, if I, um, if I try to, if I used regexp uh, ged and I looked for a pattern like this, this is the other way to do it. <clears throat> um, what I want is a, I would extract a bunch of numbers. No, oh, multiple. I want ones. I want one or more digits. I'm going to use tokens to extract it. There's my salary. However, I do find this is usually a bit more. What can often happen with them? Um, well, with because seller because regular expressions have to handle uh, multiple multiple sets of multiple capturings. You get you get um, each one of these is actually a cell. So in order to get into each individual one, you've got to go. Uh, you got to go find one one so I would have to use a cell phone to get that out so here it's so and that's and also it's a bit more cryptic this here so what I came up with using I think what what we've got here with the extract between function is much more understandable and it's actually easier because we don't, we don't need to use a cell phone we can just use a straight uh, start to double all right that's all I'm going to do today with that one question of um, Cody, I hope you found that example. I thought you found that useful. Um, and um, please tell us if you found that was uh, interesting. Is anything else you want to uh, uh, see see covered? And that will um, do for now. Goodbye.